Hey you guys, welcome back and thank you for clicking on today's video. If today is the first time you're seeing my channel, then we moved into our new house a year and a half ago. It was already renovated, but to customize it to our liking, we've done a ton of room makeovers that included DIY projects, feature walls, and furnishing our home, of course. We've been working room by room, and so I've compiled that all into one video just to catch everybody up, whether you're new here or you've been here for a while. We just find out we're pregnant with baby number two and so with the nursery and everything that we have to move um, coming up, there's a lot of new projects coming so I just wanted to catch everybody up. I also do have a wisdom tooth surgery today which is why I decided to do this and yeah I hope you guys enjoy. Also bear with the footage and the voiceovers for the first couple of videos because this has been since the beginning of my YouTube journey and my equipment and knowledge wasn't always the same. Without further ado though, let's get into today's video. <laughs> We got everything we need right here Wine and burning chemistry You and me alone You and me alone Inside of our embassy Hey you guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here today for the first part of the kitchen makeover. We are officially commencing house projects, decorating and all that good stuff. So today we're going to be doing some DIY open shelving for the kitchen but before we get into that i did just want to go over the plans again so you guys know what to expect in the next upcoming weeks in case you missed last week's video where i told you guys all the plans and shared my decor haul for this video but yeah so basically these shelves are the first part of the kitchen makeover i really wanted to fill this blank wall that i showed you guys in the beginning with some open shelving and then we are also going to be adding a chandelier not a chandelier a pendant light above the island we're gonna have to move some lighting and do a whole diy project my husband's gonna do that with the circular saw and we're gonna work it out and then we are also adding a um clear cabinet door to one of my cabinets to test out that kind of look and we're gonna be decorating in there and redecorating the countertops and all that good stuff so definitely make sure you guys are following me on Instagram because I will post updates there and I post polls there and stuff. So definitely let me know because there are some things that I'm asking you guys about like whether I should do a gold or black pendant line and whatever the case is. So definitely make sure you're following me over there. So now let's jump straight in. I'm just standing the pieces of wood that I got from Home Depot and I just want to say that this project was um, a little over $100 if not exactly $100. Super easy, super beginner friendly because I'm doing it I am not a huge DIYer but this was something that I definitely thought I could take on because I have sanded and um, also stained wood before so that's all that this requires all I did was purchase a 16 foot piece of lumber from Home Depot it is 2 by 10 in case you're wondering I wanted nice thick shelves and then I actually had it cut at Home Depot into three equal pieces of 64 inches each so if you don't have a saw or anything like that don't worry you can get your um, would cut right at Home Depot and then I just got this stain this stain is golden oak and all all you do is literally sand it down till it's smooth you can buy the smoother lumber but I just got the pressure treated one that needed a little bit more sanding to be smooth and so all I did was take a rag and wipe my stain on it I have tried staining with a brush but I find like you have more control with the rag on how dark or light you want it and um, I was trying to go for the same exact color of my island stools and you'll see that later on but yeah super super easy you guys and again super inexpensive this piece of wood was about $45 the um, stain was about $10 and then the brackets that I got from Amazon and I'll have everything linked below was $40 so again if it's not exactly 100 it's a little tiny bit over $100 Also, after the coating of the stain, I also did a coat of polyurethane. There is a spray to make it easier, but again, I used a little can like this. I didn't record it because I ended up doing this like a little bit late at night. And as you can see, the sunlight was already going down. So by the time these dried and I was doing the poly coat, um, it was no longer 
light outside so I couldn't record it or it would have been terrible quality but you guys get the gist of it now my husband's just gonna be putting up the brackets and we're just doing the measurements here basically what I did was measure the wall and I think it was about 93 inches and then the shelves were 64 inches so you subtract um, the length of your shelves and then you divide it by two to see how much space is going to be on either side and here he is he's just drilling holes he did find the beam so he um tried to put most of the screws in the beam but the shelf bracket was really thick so two of them ended up being just in the drywall and two screws ended up being um inside the beam which made it really sturdy and yeah i didn't record a lot of this process because it's boring and you guys just want to see the shelves going up and the decorating right don't worry we are getting there very soon as soon as we put these shelves up but i did want to take this time to introduce myself in case you're new here my name is josie and i'm a wife and a mom to one year old baby girl and on my channel i do obviously a ton of diys decorating um cleaning homemaking all that good stuff and we just moved into this house so there's a ton of room makeovers coming your way so i would love it if you would join the family hit that red subscribe button and enjoy enjoy what's to come with me so yeah guys now we're just going to be styling the shelves which is my favorite favorite part i'm going to let you guys enjoy everything i did put out a decor haul right before this um i'll try to link it down below i put it out on friday letting you guys know where everything is from everything was basically from hobby lobby and a few things from home goods i shopped their table decor section at hobby lobby and all their table decor was 50 percent off at the time and then i also shop their wooden section in the spring aisle and that was 40% off so literally everything on here was basically 40 to 50% off and then I got a few pieces from whole goods like this eat sign that I'm about to put there and the mortal and pestle and a couple of things but again if you want to know exactly where everything is from go ahead and check out that decor haul and I'm gonna let you guys enjoy now because this is my favorite part this is my first time styling any type of open shelving and I am so so excited and also everything that I am putting on here if I can find it will be linked below So this is part of the few things that are not from Hobby Lobby or Home Goods. The two table books, the Magnolia table book and the Aisha Curry one I got off of Amazon and I love buying books over there, table decor books or cookbooks because you can also get them used and you save like five bucks on them. And then that um, letter board is from Five Below so I only got it for five bucks so definitely check your Five Below because letter boards can be expensive at other places. Last thing that I'm gonna be decorating with that is also not from Home Goods or Target is my caraway pots. I want it kind of a lived-in look, and they are beautiful for both decor and function. I've been sharing with you guys these pots ever since they sent them to me, and again, as always, I have a 10% 
discount code in my description if you're interested but yeah guys that's it so let's just quickly look at the before and then let's look at the after you guys definitely let me know what you guys think down below and stay to the end if you want to be a part of voting what's next my mind's accelerating when i'm thinking about the good times that we had my friend said you were overrated I always told them they couldn't understand The things you did to me You showed me what it's like to fall in love Only you could show me Alright you guys, so we just finished. It's looking so, so good. Um, Like I said, this took me a while to get to this finished product. I just didn't um, feel like I needed to show you guys me trying a bunch of different ways but guys I cannot wait just like imagine obviously I gotta take down all my Easter decor and I'm gonna be redecorating everything to a nice neutral to kind of match that vibe but imagine with the the pendant light and then the clear cabinet there it's just gonna it's finally all come together I did match the shelves to my stools or tried my best but this is everything I didn't use, which I'm kind of bummed about, but I love the way it turned out. I didn't use the basket that um, this frame, which I can use somewhere else because it's pretty neutral. And then I didn't use this lamp. Um, I still have two towels that I'm going to use for the dishwasher and stove. I have some canisters, which I'm not mad about because I can just store things in. Again, this is decor that could go in a bedroom, living room, wherever. This, I'm thinking I could use it on my tear tray. And then I just had that plate that wasn't expensive, so I'm not bummed out about that. But yeah, guys, this is how it turned out. I think I might get like some black racks to put like potatoes and stuff like in. Or let me know if I should leave it like this. Or if not, get like an iron bar to like hang the rest of my... I don't know. I might just leave it like this. Or let's see how everything looks with the pendant lighting and the clear cabinet door. And I'll see if it's really finished. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this. The very, not the very next video, maybe in like a week or two, I'll be putting out the second part. So definitely subscribe if you're not already and turn on that notification bell so that you don't miss that because once we put the pendant lighting and everything and we're gonna be redecorating the, um, the countertops as well, guys, it's gonna look so, so good. So definitely hit that subscribe button, turn on your notification bell, and I'll see you guys in my next video. About the times we had And I wanted you to stay I still wanna hold you, hold you Welcome back or welcome if you're new here today for the second part of the kitchen makeover. So last time we left off with doing open shelvings on that nice blank wall. We DIY'd, stained some shelves from Home Depot and we got it all slabbed up and it was beautiful. And then I told you guys that in the second part of the makeover, I wanted to replace one of the cabinet doors with a glass one and also add a pendant light. Now straight back into the makeover, the first thing we're doing is replacing this cabinet door. The idea behind this was to kind of open up the kitchen a little more because I just felt like it was so much white. And although I love it, I wanted a little more dimension and if to feel a little more open. So I found out what company that my builder used to, you know, do this whole kitchen and they were actually a local company. So I went ahead and gave them the measurements and got a glass clear door to replace one of the all white ones. the um the handle put the handle what? so i can show them yeah what? do you want the handle or not 
that's how it would look with the handle but i feel like because it's i don't know let me know if you guys think we should put the handle or not so now my husband is starting on the pendant light and this is DIYable if you know what you're doing. So basically our can lighting, the one that was directly above the island was not in the center. So we had to create a whole other hole, but my husband knows what he's doing because he's a um, certified electrician and he does electrical for work. So I'm just showing you guys quickly the process here, but basically he's just taking out the can lighting and we're going to patch that up and then we just have to move it literally like three to four inches so i got these attachments for the drill on amazon they're just like that called i think they're called circle or hole saw or something like that you attach it to the drill and then basically he just made a smaller hole and he put a junction box in there and thankfully the wires from the previous connection reached over so he didn't have to do any new wiring just a new hole and um, bring the wires over and secure everything so that's all that he did and then we just patched it up with a um a patch that i got from amazon as well and then plastered over it but here i'm just building the pendant light you guys did vote for black so surprise i did get the black pendant light So sorry it's dark, but before my husband puts that up, I'm going to just put the patch and then I'll spackle later with this dry deck. So this is the wall patch that I got from Amazon and literally you just sand it, which that hole was clean already. Like It's a pretty clean hole because it was cut with the perfect um, circle and then you just put the patch and then you cover it with some um, drywall patch or I'm using dry decks and this part right here is hard if you guys are wondering so yeah i'm just gonna go ahead and stick this on this i realized that i didn't have light bulbs to go in here the ones that are supposed to go in there they're like teardrop shape and they're clear so i just used these that i had in my garage um the very next video is going to be a redecoration of the kitchen because um and you'll see at the end it didn't turn out bad or anything but there's just a few things that i wanted to twitch that just weren't striking like my style that i was going for in the rest of the house so i will be redecorating after and in that video you'll see the new bulbs that i put and all that stuff here but it still looked super cute at the end but i just i'm just gonna tweak a few things but yeah anyways um those were not the bulbs and are not the bulbs that you want to use for that lighting they're super ugly but i had to use it just to um i could show you guys in the correct lighting how everything looked but yeah now i'm just clearing off the countertops because i wanted to have a clear blank slate i'm gonna empty out the um glass cabinet door because i obviously can't keep all of that pantry stuff there anymore so they're gonna go in another cabinet for the time being until our pantry makeover is complete and then i'm also just gonna put some wine glasses and um plates and bowls and stuff like that things that look aesthetically pleasing because now it's see-through so <laughs> i can no longer just stuff things in there where you wanna go where you wanna go stars Streams one. 
So the first thing that I did by my stove, I put a tray, I took out the little Target dollar spot riser that I had and I put this wooden tray that I had got a while back. I put my Magnolia hearth and hand utensil holder, some wooden utensils that I got from different places like Hobby Lobby, Home Goods, and Target Mix. And then I just put my oil containers there. moving over to the other side of the stove this is still my favorite target dollar spot find ever i love it it's white it has the wooden base it's like a little riser um and keep in mind guys that i actually ended up changing all of this that i put here you'll see at the end when i do the final reveal but that's how it is i like do things and then i look at it and i'm like eh, this would look better here and there but anyways i just put this little jar here i got two of these jars from hobby lobby they were half off and i love them and then i put this little fern plant here from threshold target collection and then i just put my salt and pepper shakers there um i love these as well and i got them from target on sale oh no, I don't see the logic of i'm then just adding some cutting boards as always um i used to have them in the corner but now i have them there and i again i changed this again but the back one is from hobby lobby half off and that smaller one is from home goods or marshall's i got it for like 5.99 then i added the coffee maker another cutting um board with my the rest of my hearth and hand containers the entire collection but again i ended up changing it you'll see it at the end i ended up changing that cup and all that stuff and um i might be redecorating in the next video like i said all together and i'm thinking about completely taking out the coffee maker because again we're not heavy coffee drinkers and i don't know if i want it wasting space um i'd rather have something that we do use like a toaster or something um but yeah i struggled with this i changed this a couple times and by the next video you guys will see the final product but yeah, I also added um, my little cookbook. I have a bunch of cookbooks and I love this Chrissy Teigen one. And then I just added one of the Dollar Spot Bud Vases by my window with a little greenery in. I always add a little something by the window. I just think it looks so, so cute. On the other side, I added my paper towel holder, my cake stand, and I filled it with the cookies that were in my cookie jar. And then we're going to jump into the center of the island. People in the bar line For the center of the island I was going for function over decor at first so I put a bowl here that I got from home goods super cute and I just stuck things that I needed a place for anyways like apples and lemons and fruit and stuff like that but these are the things this is one of the things that I actually think I'm going to change and I might choose decor because I might already have chosen to put a vase there with some greenery but let me know what you guys think about this look and then I added um some kitchen towels that I got from home goods super cheap it was like a four pack for $7.99 but now you guys we're gonna take it back before I show you guys the final reveal and show you guys how the kitchen looked before when we moved in um it was a beautiful kitchen but it was very much all white no special lighting no really character or my character i should say and my style so this is the reveal you guys i hope you guys like it let me know what you guys think and if you have any suggestions down below i don't see the logic of things it's quite a lonely world that we're living in oh baby you are something special i'm sure Hey guys, 
guys this is how everything turned out i'm like okay like now i feel like my kitchen is done before it was just all white now it has some character with the shelves the pendant light the door i feel like made all the difference i asked you guys to vote on instagram if i should just do one door or do multiple doors the problem with the multiple doors is that it takes away the functionality because you can't put whatever you want in them obviously you gotta try to make them look somewhat like presentable so it kind of takes away the functionality but i think that even just one door makes a huge difference it, it just makes it feel more open in here before it was just like like all white nothing breaking up the white but i don't know um this door was only like 80 dollars, so i wouldn't mind getting one or two more so leave me suggestions down below if you think i should add more and where to add more i changed up a few things so you guys already seen this in the first part of the makeover still the same and i actually think i'm not gonna put anything there for now um but some of you guys said i should put something down there maybe like a a iron bar with the rest of my um caraway pots that i've decorated with here and then i just have one on the stove because i actually made soup for my husband but um yeah for now i think i'm just gonna leave that like that um i changed up a few things i ended up putting the candle here i left my fruit here because i actually do um need a place to put fruit especially now because i'm trying to do like the lemon water in the morning i moved like the little coffee section here and i am gonna change this um i just put this here for now but i want to put like the more nicer like magnolia one they're on clearance right now i'll show you a picture I'm going to pick it up from Target um, when we go out later. Um, I do have the Mr. Coffee machine because, like I said, we don't drink that much coffee, which is why I didn't turn over here into a coffee bar, which were the original plans. But if I do have coffee, it's like frappes. So that's why we have like this little frappe. It makes hot coffee and frappes. Hi, mamas. So, um, yeah, and then over here, that's the little bud base from the dollar spot. And then this is actually from like, a fern plant that it like it broke so i just took out the stems you want to talk to youtube um i have the cutting boards here this one is from hobby lobby this one was from home goods for like 5.99 the smaller one now over here i moved the the um the what do you call this cake stand um a lot of you guys ask me on all my videos where it's from it's from home goods i don't have a link i'm so sorry i love it i know i got it on clearance too so um yeah i moved that over here because i'm i had it over here but i moved the coffee section there and um <laughs> i diy kind of my own cookbook holder because they're expensive and i had like this little cheapy one it's literally just like a little wire stand so <laughs> what i did was to make it look like one of those like cookbook holders that come from magnolia is i put the extra cutting board that i had there and then i just put laid this on top of it <laughs> and then i just laid that on top of it and it looks like a cookbook holder i just added this basket here this basket is actually from like um my husband did like a whole anniversary thing for me where he added like all of my favorite things so i just thought it was super cute i don't know what i'm gonna add maybe like <laughs> i don't know like the oatmeal that i have each morning i don't know but i think it just makes it look super cute there i love this these are from target this is from target this is from hobby lobby and this is like one of my favorite dollar spot finds a little cake stand i love you know the caraway pots just look so aesthetically pleasing like i don't even mind like cooking and leaving the <laughs> the pots on the stove this is from again marshall's and i already had this from magnolia it goes with the other sets and these spoons are a mix of hobby lobby target and target and one that i found at home goods because i couldn't find a whole set um and yeah these are just my oil holders that i had forever but yeah guys i'm so excited with the way everything turned out let me know down below what you guys think if you have any suggestions again for what goes um under here if anything should go under there or just anything that you feel would make this space look better but i definitely think this is complete now it doesn't look like a like newly built kitchen that just doesn't have any like character to it it looks like you know a decorated space 
And now the next pendant line I want to add is to my dining room. I'll show you guys a picture here. But I want to add that there. But I'm wondering if it's too much to have this pendant line here. And then my dining room is literally right next to my kitchen to have like two pendant lights. But I might do it anyways. But yeah, since my husband was able to do that, I'm definitely going to have him do pendant lights like all over this house and chandeliers but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know what you guys think below make sure you give it a like and a thumbs up if you enjoy because that helps my channel so so much i'll see you guys in my next one i don't really mind all the woo girls doing stage dives i don't care at all baby you got my attention so you guys welcome back or welcome if you're new here my name is Josie and on my channel we do all things home decor homemaking and today I can't even contain my excitement you guys know I've been talking about making over this bedroom since we bought the house eight months ago but I did want to take my time because this is my dream home honestly you guys so I really wanted a dream master bedroom as well and so today we're kicking things off with some paint because if you watched my house tour you know that the builder painted the entire house in this beautiful warm white and then when we got to the bedrooms we seen that he just decided to do this unpleasant yellow color in the bedrooms that made the rooms look dark and dingy and not as big so I really couldn't wait to paint these walls the color we chose and is also throughout the rest of the house is called melting icicles by bear in a matte finish I get that question a lot so there you go that's the name of the color I truly love this color it's the perfect muted warm white for when you still want white walls but you also want that definition and contrast to your trim which is usually painted like ultra white in a gloss finish so anyways we started off with cutting in and then painting the entire room together we did two coats and I was struggling y'all you will see that a little later on I never really painted before our last house we paid painters to do the entire house so I definitely underestimated it a bit and my arms were hurting so bad and my husband is a trooper because I cut a lot of this footage out but just know he did most of it and anyways we'll also be DIYing a feature wall we're gonna be doing a super easy picture frame wall and of course my favorite part decorating so this is a big room with a lot of space to cover so in this video we're covering the main wall which is basically the feature wall the bed the nightstand which is pretty much like the main thing anyways it sets the vibe for the rest of the house and then in the second part coming next week god willing we will be adding a love seat the dresser body mirror greenery wall decor curtains all that good stuff definitely subscribe if you want to stay tuned for the entire look and stay tuned to the end again to help me decide on some things and hear the plans for next week a bit also you guys throughout this video you'll be seeing my toddler sitting down in her little chair watching youtube she's watching dr miss stuffins i know i know that don't judge me y'all but this is what DIY and looks like when you don't have a babysitter for your child. <laughs>
so now we're about to get into the feature wall, but before we do that, I just want to thank Teddy Blake for sponsoring today's video. Teddy Blake is a luxury handbag company who prides itself in offering designer handbags with all key characteristics of any high-end luxury houses, but removing the $1 to $2,000 added cost just for the label. These are real leather handbags and are made in the same Italian factories as other luxury brands you may know, so you're definitely not skipping out on the quality. They have a ton of different styles and drop new collections every month, so if you don't see a style that you love yet, you will soon. I chose the Ivy, which is marketed as kind of an on-the-go mom bag, which is exactly why I chose it, because my current diaper bag be killing my outfits y'all sometimes so this is going to be my mom bag for when i'm feeling cute and don't want a diaper bag killing my vibe so from the moment i received this package i was impressed before even touching it and seeing the bag the way that it came packaged was just very luxurious and it felt pleasant i felt bougie honestly but then honestly getting to the bag was even better you could automatically tell it was high end by the weight and the way that it felt i just i'm in love with it i'm in love with all the pockets i love how it comes with this strap so that you can kind of it gives me like duffel bag vibes and it has so so much room so many pockets it's honestly the best cute diaper bag it fits so much as you can see here and you can wear it any way that you want it like a duffel bag an across body style or just like a handbag so teddy blake was generous enough to give me a code for you guys right now they're currently having sales up to 60 percent off and on top of that you can get an extra $30 off when you use my code tbjosie30 at checkout so definitely make sure that you check that out if you are interested and remember if you don't see a style that you like yet they drop new collections every single month so definitely sign up with your email so you can get notified right away thank you again to teddy blake for sponsoring today's video all right you guys so after we finished the painting my husband went outside to work on the trim so we did decide and guys if you hear my fire <laughs> alarm please don't comment i already know something's wrong with it basically we have hardwire fire alarms and they're beeping as if it was low battery but it doesn't have battery so we don't know what the hell is going on so please don't comment that i know my fire alarms are beeping but anyways um so my husband had to cut the trim basically we're doing um picture frame molding so i just showed you guys here we're gonna take these upstairs each of these pieces if you're wondering are like four bucks at home depot and then he just had to like cut them at an angle in order to be able to put them together and it could sit nice and flush and i'll show you guys here he has like the circular saw that you just like i don't know what it's called but you just like go down and you can um cut at different angles so basically um we did measurements for one large one for the middle and then I don't know if you guys are able to tell now, but this one is slightly smaller in terms of width. So we're gonna have one large one behind the bed and then two on the side. So yeah, we're gonna eat and stuff, take a little break. Um, doing the, the picture frame wall and painting will probably be a little bit more darker. Who knows? We're gonna do this. We're gonna try to get it done tonight so that tomorrow I could just decorate and like move in all the furniture. But yeah, so this is what it's like super inexpensive if you already have most of the tools um and you only need to get paint and this this could literally be like a hundred dollar project so yeah i'll see you guys when we get upstairs we got everything we need right here So now before my husband starts putting everything up, we had to do measurements, of course. So the way we decided to do it, that was the easiest for us was putting the middle panel first. So the way my husband did it was he measured the entire wall. And then we know that these um, pieces are 48 inches. So we subtracted 48 inches from that and then divided it by two. So we know how much space should be on either side. And we did the same method for the side panels as well once the middle panel was up. Um, also, we used liquid nails for this project. So we did board and bind in our previous house and we used the nail gun and we just didn't wanna go through the hassle of renting the nail gun from Home Depot and then bringing it back in time and all that stuff. So we thought because these pieces were light enough 
that um, we can just use liquid nails and they would stick just fine. And they did, but I will say I think it's easier. I would recommend to just do the nail bed instead because liquid nails can get a little messy um, if you're just relying on the liquid nails to have the, the pieces stick to the wall. And also it takes a really long time to dry. So you have to wait in order to caulk and paint and all that. So it makes the project a lot more longer than it needs to be. So I would recommend if you're going to do this to just do the nail gun and rent it from Home Depot and it'll be a lot easier and a lot quicker. Now we're just painting the trim and that is it before we get to the decorating after this dries. But um, we decided to do the feature wall in the same color as the rest of the room and I'm not mad at it. I love it. I did put a vote on Instagram and I was like, do you guys think that we should leave it this color, the same color as the rest of the room or do like a light beige color or something to like offset it a bit make it pop and I will say that like it was like really really close but the one that won was to do it like a different color um like a, a light beige or another neutral color so that it pops out but I decided not to do that um in the end as per my husband he just wanted to do it the same color so um you know I like I have to take his input to you guys even though I do not want to but it's his room too and yeah we're not mad I'm not mad at how it turned out it turned out beautiful and anyways we had that beige and that beige yellow in there so it's just refreshing to now have it all white why did you go why did you have to turn into a liar like this don't know what happened to you put my trust in you guess that i couldn't do that oh but i know now shouldn't trust a word that comes out of your mouth i was kidding myself why did you have to turn into a liar now you're gone carpet looks I did get a five by seven but you guys are gonna see I'm not trying to cover this whole room with another carpet again that's just not my style <laughs> I have a baby climbing here <laughs> yeah y'all it was a struggle getting this done with her. yeah you made it difficult right um, yeah my husband is putting all the outlet covers back we're about to bring the bed in here and get started but yeah, I'm so excited to get decorating y'all. But yeah, just don't knock the small carpet. I know it's a big room and a small carpet, but I'm just going for like directly under the bed look, not to fill their entire room. <laughs> So after we bring all the furniture, we're going to start decorating, you guys. Oh my gosh, I cannot tell you how happy this makes my heart. Even watching the footage back, it's just like I never, ever had a room like this in our old house. We didn't get to do this, so it's just, it's a dream come true, which is why I called it my dream master bedroom makeover. Anyway, that rug is actually from Wayfair. I got it for such a good deal, like 55 bucks, y'all. So anyways, don't knock the 5 by 7 I think it turned out really good. I just didn't want a huge rug covering the room again. We did that in our old house, and it was just, it's not my style anymore. So I just wanted it directly under the bed. This bed is like my favorite thing 
of the entire makeover. I never had a queen size bed or something this grand with such a big headboard. I don't know if the um, camera will do it justice, but it's a really tall, massive headboard. It's a wingback headboard as well. Um, and this is Joss and Main. I got it from Wayfair and it's the only piece that we splurged on. And I'm, I'm honestly in love, you guys. For the nightstands, you guys know I love saving money, so I actually got these from Target and the dresser. I got the set. You will see these were super, super affordable. I wanted farmhouse looking dressers, but I mean nightstands, but they were like $300 each. And I don't know. I know I told you guys that I'm not going to cheap out on the room anymore, um, like bedroom furniture, because if you know me, then I love to like, you know, save money. But I didn't cheap out on the bed, but the nightstands, I'm not willing to pay $300 for a nightstand. So anyways, I got these for like 100 bucks and change at Target and they're just plain white and they're not really farmhouse-y looking, but I did get new hardware for them that made them farmhouse looking and I'll show you guys later on. I got them from Amazon, everything will be linked below, but changing the hardware just turned them into completely different nightstands and dressers so that's an idea for you guys if you want to get basic nightstands and then just change the hardware it'll make it look like a completely different piece of furniture all right so for the bedding i did go with a duvet cover and you guys know me because i um slurged on the bed i try to save everywhere else so i did get it from ikea for like 30 bucks target had them for like 80 bucks and i was just like no way jose i'm not doing that <laughs> so i got this one for 30 bucks and um i'm not a duvet cover person I will say when my husband saw this, he was like, I don't get it. Why is there a blanket inside of a blanket? <laughs> and I kind of agree with him, but I've over time, um, like jumped on the bandwagon, I guess you will say. And I love the way they look rather than just quilt, quilts being on the bed. But yeah, I got this from Ikea. I also got the pillows from Ikea and pillow covers that you will see later on. They're in a sage green. I wanna close my eyes and go back, play it in my mind. A movie of us two, yeah, we were happy at the time. Can't remember what it felt like. We used to be so strong. That picture perfect sky now, and look so great and cold. We've been playing here since 4 a.m. and you haven't said. these are the pillow covers i was talking about i already had the euro pillows and then i just needed 
euro shams for them and I just got them for Ikea. I think they were like 12 bucks each. I got this lumbar pillow from Target and then I also got this big chunky knit blanket that is the second thing that I splurged on so I lied it wasn't only the bed it was this blanket because this blanket was $60 it is from the Casa Luna brand and any other time guys I would not spend $60 on no throw blanket but I was in love with this one and actually this was the first thing I bought for my bedroom makeover and I kind of I bought it before we even moved into the house and this was what the entire like look was actually based on I know it's weird so I guess it makes up for the splurge these lamps are from Target and I do give full credit to you guys for these I love how they look I did post a poll on Instagram um, between these lamps and some white lamps and you guys you guys did me good um this little bowl here is from home goods and the greenery is from hobby lobby and i just stuck it in a bud vase the bowl that i put there or whatever you want to call it i put it on my husband's side so he could put his wallet and keys and on the other side i just found this beautiful black frame from um hobby lobby i think it was no it was home goods and I just stuck a family picture in it. And then I did get these from Hobby Lobby to tie in the sage green. And I had my husband put them above the bed. And then also on the sides above the nightstands, which was my original plan. But I ended up not putting them. But I will be using them in part two. When you're next to me. This is the finished product. I am so, so, so happy with it. Uh, my favorite part is this big grand bed. I never had a bed like this. I always dreamed of it and I'm so glad we spurged. It's like the only piece that we spurged on. Um, everything else was affordable from Ikea, Target, or um, the dollar spot or something like that, or Amazon. So I'm so excited um, how the picture wall came out there's definitely some um imperfections but the bed covers a lot of them other than that there's not many more but hey it's a diy we're not huge diyers neither are we like contractors or anything like that so you can expect some mistakes but definitely it's definitely an easy project you just got to be very 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 careful um but guys i'm so in love with everything as you can see we decided not to put the pictures my original plan, which I'll post up here again, was to put pictures on either side. But I decided not to do that because it wouldn't be center with the um, 
the panels on the side so I just thought it looked weird and I just thought that the picture frame wall behind it was enough so um but you can definitely leave your votes down below but in the second part of the makeover I'm going to be doing wall decor um doing dresser I mean doing dresser doing um my dresser which I think I'm going to put right over here with the tv over here I'm putting a love seat um I already got it it's like um uh, from Wayfair and it's the same color as the bed. We're gonna decorate that with some pillows throws um, We're gonna be putting curtains up God willing God willing putting curtains up again. I'm sticking with the um, black hardware theme, so I am gonna be doing black rods with some curtains. I'm thinking whether to do sheer or Room darkening. I think I'm gonna go with room darkening even though I love sheer because you guys know I added sheer to downstairs because I had the room darkening ones and I love them so much more because they let in light, but for the bedroom, especially because we still have my daughter sleeping over here, I think I'm going to do room darkening over here. So I'm probably going to head over to Ikea for those. Um, I'm probably going to put the two picture frames somewhere over there. I have a faux olive tree as well. I don't know where I'm going to put that. I have a long body size mirror that is black, like the trim is black as well. So that's all going to be in part two. It's going to be wall decor, the mirror, the dresser, the love seat, and just finishing up this space. Um, I think also around here, I'm going to probably put like some hooks to like hang some stuff. I don't know, guys. I'm just like, oh, it's not focusing. I'm just getting so many ideas now that like this main wall is done. Oh my gosh, guys, guys, I've never had a room like this. I'm so excited. Um, there's a lot of wrinkles and stuff, but it's because I took them straight out of the packaging for this video, but I'm in love. I'm in love with the lamps that you guys chose because I was definitely going for the white ones that I have in my living room as well, but I put this on Instagram to vote on a poll and you guys chose the darker lamps and this is why I need you guys because I have so much light in this room that I totally agree now that I'm seeing it that um, the darker lamps are the way to go. So again, I know I explained everything, where everything is from, but this bed is from Wayfair. It's a wingback bed. I actually saw it off of my Pinterest inspo photo. I clicked on like, you know, you could click on it and then they give you like where you can get some of the stuff on the photo. And I, this was Joss and Maine from Wayfair. It was expensive. It was like 900 bucks, but so worth it. It's such good quality, nice and grand. It's really tall, you guys. I don't know if the camera does it justice. Um, the mattress and box spring I got from Amazon. This is the Casa Luna knit blanket. I kind of splurged on that too. That was 60 bucks. The duvet cover that I still don't know if I put on right is from Ikea. Those pillow covers, the, the sage ones are from Ikea. That lumbar pillow is from Target and the pillows are from Ikea and then the um, bed sheets are just from Target, like their cheapest bed sheets. <laughs> and then the pillowcases go with a duvet cover. Um, this black frame, which I love so, so much, y'all. I love this frame so, so much. Um, I found it at Home Goods. I had a Home Goods gift card. I had it over there and then I just put one of the photos that I had as a family there from her first birthday. Those, um, the, the nightstands and the dresser that you'll see in part two, are from Target. They are they were such a deal and I by changing the hardware, I was able to make them look a little more farmhousey custom um custom and a little more extensive if I may say so myself. <laughs> and then um the lamps are from Target. Um this is my Hobby Lobby greenery if you guys are not new here, you know that I recently became obsessed with this greenery from Hobby Lobby. It's called um wild asparagus and i just love it because it's like the only one in hobby lobby that looks this realistic like the type of green i don't know what it is but i just don't like very bright greens this again is from my husband's wallet and keys because he can never find somewhere for them and he's always has them like on the dresser or something so i thought it would be nice to give him a little place to have his wallet and keys that was a home goods find it was like 10.99 or something like that um yeah and the lamps and the lampshade are from target i already said that and then i'll link all the materials that i can that we use for the picture frame wall but yeah this is it you guys thank you guys so much for watching if you're not already subscribed make sure you go ahead and do that 
definitely let me know what you guys think below if you have any suggestions for part two and where I'm gonna place things and where I should put those picture frames any of that all of that is welcome I'll see you guys in part two next week I love you guys bye Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here today for part two of my master bedroom makeover, my dream master bedroom makeover. Last week we did the DIY feature wall. If you didn't already watch that video, I'll go ahead and link it up above and as well as in the description. But we did the feature wall, we put the bed, the nice dance, we got that all decorated and all ready to go. And I did leave it off just like that. So today's video, we're going to finish off the room. Well, almost finish off the room. There's still a couple of touches that I needed that I didn't have in this video. But we're pretty much going to put everything else that's like a big ticket item like wall decor. Um, we're building the dresser here. It's going to match the nice sands. Um, we have a love seat that you can probably already see here. But we're going to deck that all out. We're going to add a mirror plant curtains all the stuff that's gonna finish off this bedroom you guys i'm so excited the way everything turned out um and a little disclosure i know i look crazy in this clip and maybe one other clip in this video um we were all over the place this week when we were fil filming this makeover was like really really crazy so i didn't get all cute for you guys here i actually had just came out the shower and i had some house clothes on with my little head wrap that I put on when I wash my hair and we were just building the dresser um, me and my husband always tag team and I'm doing the drawers and then he's doing the like I don't know what you call it the, the dresser <laughs> where the drawers go inside and yeah we're gonna get this all built up we're gonna change the hardware like we did in last week's video and then we're gonna get to decorating so stay tuned if you want to see how everything came out and again if you did not watch last week's video that is where the main transformation really took place because we did a feature wall which really just completed the whole space and then obviously the main wall which is the bed the nightstands i feel like that's the whole focal point uh, focal points of the room and that is where everything else came into play and all the ideas came rushing to my mind so definitely stay tuned to the end to see the almost finished product and also again to vote on some last minute touches that i'll probably be updating you guys in a future video also, you guys, I did just want to update you guys. I know a handful of you guys have been commenting on the volume of my voiceovers and my voice sounding weird or muffled. Um, my mic is actually broken. Um, in fact, I don't know if I'm using the mic to the Mac right now that's built in or the one that I have plugged in. But basically, long story short, I got a cheap one when I first started off YouTube because that is what I could afford. It's about time that I upgrade. But until then, this is what I'm working with. So I'm so sorry for... Um, either the echo or whatever you guys are hearing on your end but now I'm just replacing the hardware this hardware did not come with this dresser both the dresser and the nightstands as I shared before are from Target It's their most um, least expensive furniture that they have and it's a set it's the the matching set and I just got these um, farmhouse looking hardware pieces from Amazon I'll have it linked below but that is a huge tip I have it changed the whole look of the furniture um, the knobs were like just basic knobs and I was just like I can make this look a little more like the look that I want by just getting some cute hardware so that's what I did um, now my husband is just putting up the curtains so I got, of course, I went with black curtain rods and these curtains, y'all. So I couldn't decide whether I wanted to do um, room darkening or blackout curtains or like the sheer ones that I did downstairs to let more light in. The problem with that is that my daughter is still co-sleeping with us. So in the morning, it's getting like real um, light 
early now so I don't want it to wake up my daughter so I was gonna get blackout curtains but y'all I got these like really sheer linen ones from um, home goods it was a four pack for $29.99 now if you know about curtains you know that they are super expensive it's usually for the good ones like 20 to 30 dollars for each panel like per panel not a set if you're lucky you could find a set for 30 to 40 dollars um on clearance or something like that so when i saw a four pack for $29.99 i was like i have to get it the curtain rods are also from home goods and they are they were on clearance too for like 15 bucks so i just cheaped out on it and it worked out fine i just added the temporary black shades back to the windows in the meantime while my daughter is still sleeping with us because we do plan on hopefully sometime soon transitioning her to her nursery cross your fingers for us y'all because i say that but i don't know if i'm ready <laughs> Did you have to turn into a I'm just adding some wall decor that I got from Hobby Lobby. I got these for like 15 bucks each. They were 50% off because they had their wall decor off. And I got them because they're this beautiful light sage green, which kind of ties in the pillows that I put on the bed. But you guys saw that I tried this out um, in my last video where I tried to put them above the nightstands like the original plans were when I was doing my whole like planning for this bedroom and I'll show you guys a picture here if you don't know what I'm talking about but I decided not to do that because I felt like the feature wall was good enough for behind the bed and I ended up putting them here Obviously had to add a body mirror and some greenery so all of this is from Amazon I love getting my mirrors from Amazon I always could find a nice cheap deal you guys know me there's a ton of the same mirrors on Amazon and I'm always looking for the cheapest one even if it's a dollar or two dollar difference and then I also got this beautiful olive tree they can be expensive and I got this one for like 74 bucks on Amazon and this um, I actually found on a home goods run it was like $16.99 and it was ceramic it matched the room so I thought it was perfect to put the tree. Now for this corner, I just put this basket that I already had. It was actually a gift from our realtor when we bought our first home. So I thought this corner was empty and it would be a good place to like stack the pillows that we don't use whenever we're about to go to sleep. And then I had this here from my kitchen makeover that I never used on my open shelving. I decided not to put it there, but you guys let me know if you think it looked good there. And now I'm just showing the little bit of footage that I have of us building the little love seat that I got from Wayfair you guys this is like 
400 bucks right now on Wayfair and I got this on a flash deal so definitely keep your eye out for flash deals on Wayfair I got it like for 130 bucks I was like so surprised and the next day it went back up but obviously this is the first thing we got that's why um, nothing is done in the room yet it was late at night so that is why I got my hair wrapped I just took a shower again and this footage is really bad I just thought I would throw it in there but yeah my daughter was like all over us the entire time So for the love seat, I added a throw from Target. I'll have it linked down below. It's in the color natural. I love it. It's not, it's like gray and beige at the same time. The bigger pillows that I'm putting on either side, I already had. They're from my living room. And this smaller one um, is actually a pillow cover from Amazon. I love it. I love the texture. It's like my favorite pillow I've ever, pillow cover I ever ordered from Amazon. And I thought that that made the couch look cozy because it was really like square looking and not so cozy this vase I got from Hobby Lobby I got it half off because all their table decor was half off and I was able to get a little more percentage down because it was a bit damaged and there wasn't another one and then these berry branches I got from Target I actually think they're part of the fall collection which I'm so excited for I cannot wait to decorate for fall but I did want something that wasn't greenery in here just to give it a little bit more of a contrast and then these candle holders I got from Hobby Lobby they're so beautiful they look vintage to me I got two of them but I only added one next to the vase and then on the other side I am doing a um, I am putting our TV here but we just haven't got it yet we're waiting for it to go on sale so on the other side I just put this Target dollar spot find. It was $5. It's a beautiful rattan tray. I put it there to put all our remote controls and make it functional and whatever. And then um, this was another day and I actually did decide to put the picture frame that I had from my kitchen makeover here. And I don't know. I think I like it now. Let me know what you guys think. Know you better than anyone else. It's time you let your guard down for someone like me I'd say I'm settled and pretty calm I don't storm in the storm if not me then someone like me that knows what to do and how to take care of you Okay, you guys, so again, ignore the fire detector, but this is how everything turned out. It's just I wanted to update you guys on a couple things. So here, as I said, we still have to get our TV. That is what we're doing because, and also I want to apologize because it's so gloomy outside and I wanted to wait till it was nice and like sunny, like last time. That's what I usually do for my end shots and all that but I'm running really late on this video, so we're gonna have to do it this way. But yeah, we're putting a TV here. We just have not got the TV yet. We're waiting for the one that we want to go on sale. Um, on a good sale, we want LG and we also want a good size. So um, I just decorated the sides for it. Like I said, that tray is gonna be for our remote controls. I got that from the dollar spot. And then 
um, that's from Hobby Lobby apart from the um, berry branches. But so that has, that's not completely done. Um, that'll probably be updated in a future video. Um, and then here, here's where I need help y'all. So I don't know if I want to do picture frames or like some, some type of wall art above this, but I think I'm leaning more towards doing um, wall scones, if that's how you say it, like two black ones, and then doing the puck light. I'll attach a picture of the ones that I have in my Amazon cart. I'm just like super indecisive right now, but I think this would be like a good um, corner to read or to pray or, you know, do all that good stuff. And two little lights there would look perfect. I think so because... I feel like the wall art over here and then over here that I put is enough wall art. So definitely let me know down below if you guys think I'll attach a picture. Um, if you think the wall scones will look nice there or some type of wall art. And then just picture the TV there. But other than that, I'll probably add a little more touches here and there. Um, and I'll obviously update you guys and one of my regular decorates with me. But um, for now, I think that that's it, y'all. Oh, yeah, and I also want to add lighting over here. Um, but as you can see, just like the kitchen, if you're new here, we did a kitchen makeover. And to add a pendant light, my, my husband had to move all of this. So for here, they're not centered either. I would probably want to do one centered. So he would have to do the same thing and move it. So that's going to be a project and I'll probably update that later. You can also vote what type of um, pendant light you think would look nice here. I was thinking like a black one. I'll sh attach a picture here or a like a rattan looking one. So definitely leave your vote down below of what lighting will look nice here. But for right now, that is it. Please let me know if you guys enjoyed this video. Any suggestions as always that you guys have, I am willing to take. And I will give you credit if I end up doing it. But um, please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it as it helps my channel a ton. It helps get my video out there to more people. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one. Hey you guys, welcome back or welcome if you're new here today for the living room transformation. This by far is the biggest DIY project that we have tackled and a big transformation even next week's video. You guys are going to be blown away. I am absolutely in love with my living room now. If you're new here, we've been in this house for a little over a year and we've been going room by room DIYing feature walls and just trying to make this home more like us and to our liking. So we're starting off today with a ship lap wall. You guys, this is going to be such a huge transformation. Make sure you stay till the end. But basically, let me just explain what we did. What we're using is called tri-ply underlayment, which is basically kind of like a very thin plywood. And this project was like we researched it for a really long time because it was on our to-do list since we moved in. We have the ship lap on our um, our island and the ceilings of our guest bathroom which was already there those are some of the finishes and custom touches that the builder added so when we were thinking about what we wanted to do in this living room since everything is on the same floor and very open concept I was like okay we should do a shiplap wall that would look so amazing and tie in with the kitchen so all that to say I watched a ton of videos on DIY shiplap and this just seemed the easiest and attainable for us I looked it up on Home Depot at the one near us and they did have triply the only thing is all the videos that we watched they um, ended up using the 8x8 sheets which is a lot easier because it covers more of the wall and but my Home Depot only had 4x4 sheets so we just got 8 
um, four by four sheets and we had them cut it at Home Depot into six inch strips. If you don't know, ship lap is usually six inches and the gaps are a quarter inch. So I got the quarter inch spacers and then we rented the um, nail gun from Home Depot and then again I, I'll put it on the screen earlier in the video but the the way my husband was doing the cuts was a multi-tool we've had that because again this is not our first diy project it's just an easy cutting tool it has a bunch of different heads and it's very inexpensive you can buy it at home depot but a nail gun is way more expensive so we just rented it out it was like 39 dollars over here to rent it out for the day and yeah we literally just went out on a limb and started nailing things in and i wanted you'll see later on yes these are four foot strips but i did fill in the gap so that it looks like one long piece of shiplap throughout the entire wall so overall it was a very time consuming but easy project especially if you have children this was what mine was doing while we were doing all of this we didn't have a babysitter so i just always put on my laptop and i put a dance party on for her and that's what she was doing in case you're wondering where my little one was my heart was in chains but now i'm free I also want to mention that this project, the first day of it, which was when we were doing this, did drag on a little bit. We could have got much more done this day but the nail gun was giving us so much trouble so i do want to give you guys in case you're like a semi new diyer like us a little tip if you guys do rent out a nail gun make sure you check what gauge it is because this one apparently was a 16 gauge and i bought 15 gauge nails and the first um nail gun that we got actually had a little part bent and I had to go back so make sure you you have them test it before you take it I didn't do that and then the second time it was giving us trouble again and it was because we had the wrong size nails and we didn't realize to the very end of the project when we were struggling the whole time with these nails that it was the wrong size nails so yeah this dragged on a long time so if you ever gonna do a project you guys probably already know this if you um, like DIY a lot or if just your husband is a little more used to these type of tools. We don't really use these tools unless we're doing DIY projects. So yeah, we ended up, and I'm sorry for the changing of color throughout this entire video. This was a whole week worth of footage condensed into 20 minutes and we were working in the dark and Ideally, you want to film when it's light and bright outside, but in New York, it's cold, it's snowing, and the light is out for maybe an hour in the morning, and then it's just dark and dreary, and we just couldn't only film when the light was good. So the light will go in and out a lot during this video, so I apologize, but yeah, we were working on this like at least four days out of the week. Let's go nothing serious, baby, my One of the best things about this project is that I feel like it was very DIY friendly because you're getting all the big cuts done at Home Depot and really my husband only had to do like four cuts or four or five cuts because of the outlets which were easy because it's very thin so again you could use that multi-tool and then he had to cut around the um, TV bracket because we were too lazy to take it out and so yeah it wasn't a lot of cuts so if you are thinking of DIYing a shiplap wall something similar to this I would definitely say go for it it's definitely DIY friendly Look at me, I'm in a bad situation Look at him, he's got a bad reputation 
Also, this long pause is us realizing that the wall was not even, so expect that too. Um, that was one of the little mistakes that we made. There are like minor imperfections in our wall that my husband plans to fix a little later on. Because of this, at the very top, there was a gap, but the gap was not all the same size throughout because again, the wall kind of, or the ceiling ran at a slant, which is, you know, expected in most houses. So yeah we just covered that with trim you'll see that later on but that is where we left off for that day it was nighttime. it was like seven or eight o'clock by the time we finished and then the most tedious part is really all the filling and the sanding which is what i'm doing here this i would do a little bit every single day so we started on a Saturday and we didn't finish till the next Saturday and throughout the week I was just doing a little bit of this every single night and this is what I was talking about because we got the four inch, I mean the four foot strips of the triply. I did connect them using this dry deck so that it looks like it's one long piece of shiplap running throughout the wall because I just didn't want like the gaps showing you can stagger them that is also a style of shiplap but I didn't want that and so I'm filling in the gaps and then we are attaching the fireplace finally so if you guys are not new here then you know we've been had this fireplace for a long time and since we moved in it was a DIY project and I was promising you guys for such a long time that I was going to show you guys how we did this and I was planning to put it in this video. What happened was that I had it on an old hard drive that I did not know was messed up. My daughter fried it because she was playing near an outlet with it. Long story. But um, I tried to get the footage while out before I edited this video and it's non-existent. So I guess I'm just going to explain to you guys how we did this fireplace. So the surround we got off of Wayfair. We got quoted like two, almost $3,000 for a fireplace of this sort. So we was like, we're going to DIY it. So we bought the surround off of Wayfair. We bought the electric insert off of Amazon and then the tile. Is peel and stick and it's from Amazon as well it's super easy to work with the only thing that you have to kind of DIY which I wish we had the footage to show you guys was when you put so that whole entire middle section is just a big hole when you build this around and then when you add in the electrical insert there's still gaps so in order to stick any type of tile to it you have to kind of create a backing you can use actually the same material like triply and nail it to the back of the surround so that you have the wood to attach the tile to. It was very easy, peel and stick. It was an easy DIY project and I was so excited as you can see here that we finally attached it to the wall. My husband just built something out of two by fours and then reinforced it that way. He drilled in from the side to attach it to the little structure that he built and then we caulked all around it to make it look like it was a part of the wall. Super, super DIY friendly and I'll have have all this link below because it's definitely way cheaper than almost three thousand dollars for the same exact look now my husband is just attaching trim to the very top. I got this from Home Depot. It goes by the foot. It was like a dollar seventy nine per foot. So we got sixteen foot worth of that to put all along the top to cover that small gap. And then we also put some on the right hand corner that's by the stairs. One that's kind of at an angle, so it covers it. It's a right. It, I don't know what I don't know what the name of it for is, but it's like a right angle piece of wood. Um, there's some of my schooling for you. <laughs> and so then we caulked all of that, we painted. I cannot stress enough how much the final details really put the finish to this project. If you skip all the caulking and filling in and 
just all the final touches it will not look professional it will not look good so when it comes to caulking any gap that you see cover it with caulk any holes from the nails or things that you need you can cover it with dry decks sand it down until it's smooth that is what really made this project just stand out and look like it's professionally done for any diy project that you want it to look custom and built in caulking and as well as spackling is your best friend now we're gonna start painting the paint that we chose is an ultra pure white in a satin finish i believe um when it comes to shiplap i just honestly search what finish should it should it be and it's either gloss or they said a good in between between gloss and matte is a satin and i didn't i knew i didn't want it to be super glossy but i didn't want it to be matte either because i know that shiplap and trim and stuff like that is supposed to have like that extra shine and be easier to clean so that is what we chose i think it was bare as well and then we started cutting in first with the grooves because you're going to want to make sure that your roller doesn't miss that and because you are painting very lightly so even when you start rolling just make sure you're doing very thin coats nothing too heavy because if you do you're going to get globs of paint inside of those little grooves and it just does not look nice so that is why we opted to do the grooves first so we don't have to worry about going heavy in order to get into them and then my husband just started rolling but I want to use this time to quickly plug in soon you guys are going to get to see all the finishing touches and stuff like that in this video but that is not it that is not it by far once we finish the wall we have new furniture a new rug as you can see we sold our area rug we have a lot of new things coming into this living room it's a complete transformation so if you're not already subscribed or you don't have your notifications on make sure you do that because next week's video is going to tie everything together We're at the last day that we're working on this. This is the morning after we painted. We let everything dry and then my husband put the TV back up and the first thing that he's gonna do is put up the wall sconces, I think that's what they're called. Um, I got these from Amazon. We actually use this in our master bedroom as well in our little seating nook. And then I ordered these. We didn't want to hardwire, of course, because that would have been too much DIY. My husband is a certified electrician, but... The wall was already a lot of work and we didn't want to do anything too permanent because you know me always wanting to change and so I don't know what we're going to do here in the future but I got these wall pucks from Amazon. They're battery powered and they screw in right to where the light bulb is supposed to be. It was super easy to install these wall sconces. Um, was super super easy because again we didn't have to do any hard wiring and then the light bulbs went straight in and it definitely looks like it's like professionally done like it's hard wire and I just love the feeling that it adds And the last thing my husband is doing before I'm decorating in here is just adding the floating shelving. We got these off of Amazon and I am in love with them. You guys know I had my fair share of DIYing floating shelves, but this was not the project to do it because we've already DIYed so much. And now we're going to decorating. I'm decorating for spring in here. Of course, I already decorated the rest of my house for spring and majority of this is from Hobby Lobby. The stool, the bunny, I love him. I call him Fred. And the first frame that I put up was a clearance frame from Hobby Lobby and that is a 
Etsy download that I just replaced it with, the Etsy like painting download. And then the second painting is also from Hobby Lobby, got it half off. The vase is from Hobby Lobby, like I said. And this baby's breath is actually from the bouquet that my husband got me for our anniversary, which was just a couple weeks ago. And I saved the baby's breath. It was like roses with baby's breath, um, like in the little spaces or mixed in with the roses and so I was like oh these will look nice for this shelf this book I just got at a thrift store from Goodwill I believe it was and then I'm just adding my two candlesticks that I got from home goods a while back so I definitely favor the other side more because I was so excited to decorate but this side I still love it. This face is from Hobby Lobby and I'm in love with it. It's the perfect amount of distressing and I just have some faux um, daisies in them from Amazon that I had from last year's spring decorate with me. This picture is from Hobby Lobby's clearance section. Again, their clearance section is where it's at, you guys. The next frame I'm gonna put on here is also from Hobby Lobby, and this little bunny is from Home Goods. This egg tray is from the Target Dollar Spot and the wooden eggs I'm putting inside is also from the Target Dollar Spot. I didn't want to go too overboard with Easter. Again, I just want to be able to remove the Easter items once Easter is over and then keep my spring decor. And next to it, I'm going to be putting another basket from the Target Dollar Spot with some dried florals from Hobby Lobby. And I just love the way this came out. On the mantle, I'm keeping it real simple with some black candlesticks that are from the Hearth and Handline that I've always had since last year. And then I'm adding my DIY age vase that I did with you guys with some greenery that I found in my bin. I believe they're from Target, but that is it for the decorating, you guys. After this, I'm going to be showing you guys the before and after. Again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it gave you motivation to do your own DIY project. You can make your home home exactly how you want it with some time and effort stay tuned for next week's video you're not going to want to miss the finished transformation of this living room i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one Hey you guys, welcome back for part two of this living room transformation. Last week we did a DIY shiplap wall along with finally attaching our DIY fireplace and decorating for spring. In today's video, we will be finishing up this makeover, you guys. So I'm starting off with unboxing my new coffee table that I'm totally in love with. So thank you to Homeary for sending me this coffee table you guys i know it's like my fourth coffee table that i had since i've been in this house but again i haven't finished this living room since we moved in if you're new here we moved in about a year 
I'll go maybe a little over two years now and man I have changed this living room so much but I just felt like it wasn't done until I finally had some customization so now that the ship lap wall is done I knew I needed a another coffee table that was more my style and this one is perfect they have it um advertised as a modern farmhouse type of table and that's exactly what it is and it's my first real solid wood coffee table it's super heavy it just feels luxurious and i'm in love with it home mary is a site that has a ton of home furniture and decor all things of that sort faucets lighting rugs and of course furniture and all their furniture is beautiful it's modern they even have a 48 hour dispatch option where you can look at things that will be dispatched in 48 hours to your area and what i love about this coffee table and you guys will see me style it a little bit later it's one of the biggest factors in changing this living room but it was super super easy to build i don't know if the rest of their furniture is this way but this was only three steps super easy and i was able to download a pdf of the instructions right on their website so it was super easy home mary was kind enough to give me a seven percent off discount code for you guys both in the us and the uk so you could use that coupon code to go ahead and get seven percent off the entire website look through their stuff they have amazing furniture pieces and i'm sure that if you're in the market for a new furniture piece or anything of that sort that you will find something that you like on their site so i'll leave all the information in my description box of how you can get that seven percent off thank you to homeary for sending me this coffee table again and now again you'll see me decorate it in a little bit but first i'm gonna add everything else starting with a new area rug you guys so you guys know i used to have the all white one i think it was my texas house and it had like that 3d effect on it and i am in love with it i'm in love with everything white as you can see by my couch but my toddler is now too so it just wasn't working for me my um sofa has removable cushion covers so i can always um take them off and remove them when it came to the carpet white was just not it so i got this carpet off of wayfair and it's actually a washable carpet and i love it it was only about when i got it 160 dollars here and you guys if you go on ruggable for a 8 by 10 washable rug it's so much more so i love the price i love the pattern i love the dimension that it adds and now it doesn't bother me that I have a lot of white in my living room because this carpet breaks it all up and it is a little bit thinner than um, a normal carpet because again it's washable so you do have to get a rug pad if you want that more of a plush feeling but it doesn't bother me and then you guys know these have been my side tables since we moved in they're from Target and they come in black and gold when i first moved in i thought that gold was the way to go i had a gold mirror in here and i moved that to my guest bedroom if you saw that video but now that i don't have the gold mirror there really isn't any more gold that this goes with so i decided to do them black and i wasn't gonna buy the same table in black so i just bought a can of spray paint and it completely transformed them so i'm just gonna put those back up as well as the table Stare into your eyes and you into mine. Lying perfectly still, like we have frozen time. I don't want this to be over. Don't want the morning to come. Also, I did leave up my kind of taupe color curtains that I changed recently. You guys know I used to have the sheer white ones for spring and I changed this for winter and I was debating on changing them back to the spring light colored ones but you guys definitely let me know if you think leaving these colored ones kind of breaks up all the white a little bit more or should I try adding the, the spring ones back. This is also a change that I made that I'm in love with. You guys know on that side, on that further side, I used to have both of these chairs. 
And now that I have this rectangular coffee table, I thought it would be nice to put one on either side. So you guys let me know how you like that new layout. And then I just added my stool from Hobby Lobby and a planter from Hobby Lobby. And I stuck my olive tree that I had from Target back there. I do want a bigger one, but this is all I have. And again, a lot of money went into that wall. And I just wanted to save money where I can. The same thing goes for this mirror. I wanted a different mirror. I knew I wanted a black trim mirror. But I had this one from our first home. And it's a little more farmhouse that I would like because of the rope. And But again, I wanted to save money. It's from Amazon. And I ended up really liking the way it looks. I may change it in the future. But you guys let me know how you like it. <laughs> Love and heartbreak was our life. We got drunk and smoked your dead cigarettes. Dreamt of a life in a big town. Skyscrapers and neon lights. Now, as you can see, it's looking a little bare in here, so it needed some color. We're decorating for spring, so we're adding those blues and yellows and greens that we've been adding to the rest of the house. And I have been having a lot of trouble finding pillowcases that I like. Target is just not it lately, so I found this website called Woven Nook or something of that sort. And I just found it on a Google search. I had no idea. And they have beautiful pillows. And this actually came in a four pack for $50. And they gave me a code because it was my first time. And they also gave me a code to share. So I'll leave that in my description as well in case you guys like this. They have other four packs. And in my opinion, they're a great deal, especially with a code because you're getting them for a little over ten dollars and that is not out of whack for a pillow cover at all and i already had the pillow inserts the first two actually came with my sofa and they're really really thick have a lot of feathers in them so i did have to squeeze them in there but it turned out okay This throw is actually a very old throw. It's kind of like a green grayish throw that I already had and I haven't used it since my old house. And I was planning on getting a new throw and even like a new pillow for the chairs. And you'll see I already used a pillow that I already had from Target last year. And I just want to say it's okay to like shop your home and use things that are old in new ways because I ended up really liking how this throw turned out and I didn't think I would. I wanted to get like a green knit one that I saw at Target that was like $35. But again, we spent a lot of money on the wall. I mean, not as much money as obviously getting done by a contractor, but it was a lot of money. So I was just trying to save money wherever I can. I sold my coffee table and my rug to be able to buy certain things and this is the pillow I'm talking about. It's from Target and on the other chair I'm gonna put a five dollar blue throw that I also got from Target. So literally the only decor that I bought for like cushion wise and covers were just those covers and this five dollar throw. So I ended up saving a lot of money and yeah, I just don't want to be a part of adding to the noise of saying you always need new things. It's okay to use things that you already have. Buy one or two new things to completely change the look. Do you have to feel lonely before you get the chance to meet someone? Before you get to meet someone like you? This has to be my favorite part. I always wanted a nice big chunky like statement piece to go on my coffee table. But my coffee tables were never big enough. It just looked crowded. But now that I have this one, I was like I need to order this big stone looking one from Hobby Lobby that I've always seen on some of my favorite decorder, decor, decorators, what am I saying? Decorators page and YouTube. And I added these florals from Hobby Lobby. I wanted baby's breath but... 
I didn't find them and the ones that I did find at Hobby Lobby were a bit expensive so I do not know what these are called. I found them in like the dried floral section and I love them. I love the spring touch that it adds. They almost look like wheat but in white. Maybe they are wheat. I don't know. And then I just filled the base with some moss and I also, you already saw this, but um, stuck them in some flower foam. I'm okay if I got you, we don't have to stay, we can do what we want to, just give a little bit of your heart, give a little bit of your heart to me. All the most scars start to heal, when I'm with you and I can't explain how I feel, when I'm with you just give a little bit of your heart, give a little bit of your heart. This little rope bin is from the Target dollar spot. It was a last minute find the day before I filmed and I thought it would be perfect to hide all the remote controls because we have one for the sconces now, for the fireplace, and for the TV. So a lot of remotes to hide and then I'm just leaving my busted up book that my daughter completely tore up but I'm still going to use it on my coffee table. I love the look of an open book um to like a decor page that matches the season on top of the coffee table and then for the side tables i'm just adding picture frames that i always had here and just one little bunny from the target dollar spot on the other one but everything else i already had and after this i'm just going to be lighting a candle to set the coziness and i'm going to be showing you guys the progress all the way from the beginning until now i hope you guys enjoy this two-part living room makeover it truly was a journey this is just a testimony to say that part of making a house a home is taking your time take it day by day i know when i first moved in i wanted to just change everything at once and i'm so glad that i decided to do it room by room because now i can finally say that the rooms that we have touched i absolutely love and i cannot wait to do the rest with the rest of my house so if you're looking for change in your home this is your sign just be patient take it day by day room by room until you can look back and finally love every single square inch of your home i love you guys and i'll see you in my next one god willing as always